I started my career as a clinical instructor, and then it moved into asking questions about my patients that we didn't have answers to. So I started with a big question about certain cats that have heart disease, and their typical presentation when they saw me was they had built a blood clot, and it had blocked blood flow to the back part of their body. And no one really had a good answer for me as to why that occurred. It's a very comprehensive, different, uh, difficult physiology, and no one had really uncovered it all. So I came to Dr. Tablin and said, this is your area of specialty that I don't think has been studied very well. And she said, well, we could do it. Do it. So uh, with a collaborative group of people here at UC Davis, we have our cardiology team, we have my intensive care and emergency service team, and we have Dr. Tablin and her entire lab that have the expertise in answering the questions. Mm -hmm. I have a question, and we built a collaborative group to get the answers. After Jantry first came to the laboratory, we had studied um, a heritable bleeding problem in horses. We studied human platelets. Um, we studied a number of things, and he said, I want to look at cats that develop these blood clots. And um, we said, okay, we can do that. We can think about using tools that we already have to be able to answer those questions. And so we began to read the literature and compare what was known about cats with heart disease that have these problems and people with heart disease that have these kinds of problems. And so we were able to draw on the very well-published human literature to be able to start to think about the kinds of questions we could ask for the cat platelets. And so we started to employ a variety of different techniques in the laboratory. And the lab has, um, there are six people in the laboratory many of whom have dedicated part of their time to work on this particular project and who have a great deal of expertise um, in a variety of lab techniques, uh, biochemistry and flow cytometry in particular, and who've been really important members of this collaboration. So we started out by asking what we thought was going to be the easiest question, but it's actually not the easiest question. <laughs> Um, we, we used a tool called flow cytometry um, to look at the platelets and to see whether the platelets um, were more sensitive to stimulus in the cats with heart disease than in normal cats. And it just requires a simple blood draw. And then we can isolate the platelets, which is a little bit tricky, but it's, it's very doable. And then we can look at um, how the platelets respond to normal components in the blood that would help them make a clot. 